a story stick or a story pole is used to measure and mark uh, the critical measurements in full scale proportions but not sure if you try to measure between two walls uh, the measurement tape will not uh, stay put it bends and falls and it's not horizontal even if you have a flat surface uh, you can't really measure exactly the distance between the walls so for a recent uh, vanity project i built this extendable adjustable story stick specifically for inside measurements the idea would be to lay down this story stick on a flat surface or even just hold it with hand and extend it such that both the ends uh, hit the wall on either side then I can take it out and measure it properly with the measuring tape and get the exact measurement that I need. For this particular project, uh, you can see I'm measuring the distance between the walls at various points. Once I have it extended out, I will use those knobs to tighten them and then take it out and measure. Let's go ahead and see how I built it. I went through several iterations of design in my notebook. I knew it had to be a tongue and groove kind of design for it to be able to slide and be adjustable. So finally decided on this design. It's a two piece system, tongue and groove, one and one quarter inch in width and the same height uh, as to one and one quarter inch. The tongue on the top has these dimensions it's half an inch and then the additional tongue is one quarter inch um, and the groove on the bottom uh, the height is three quarters of an inch but when I put them together you can see how the total height is, comes out to be one and one quarter inch I use uh, three quarter of an inch thick uh, poplar stock that I had from the local box store I run it through the table saw and get three identical pieces that's one and one quarter inch wide two of those pieces will be the tongue and groove uh, and I, i'll explain later why i had the third piece i take the tongue and groove pieces make some rough markings just to get an idea make sure i cut the right pieces at the right place i go to my router table adjust my bit one quarter of an inch high and I also adjust the fence to be one quarter of an inch behind my straight router bit. I run the tongue piece on one side, get the cut that's uh, one quarter of an inch uh, deep and one quarter of an inch height. I turn the piece around, make the same cut and that's what gives me the tongue piece. I take the finished uh, tongue piece and align it on a flat surface to my groove piece with a clamp and I'm basically transferring the tongue edges as markings onto my groove piece and that just gives me the two lines within which I know the grooves have uh, have to be uh, made. I take the groove piece uh, onto my router table and very carefully make sure that I uh, make the groove uh, and stay within the markings that I just made and uh, the fence may need to be very carefully adjusted uh, and the cuts may have to be repeated because we don't want the tongue to wiggle sideways it has to be very um, uh, snug and cannot be loose it has to slide without uh, wiggling basically uh, to make the sliding mechanism a little bit more smoother i use some paste wax And then I take my center hole punch, make a pilot marking right in the center and then I use my drill press to drill a hole one quarter of an inch wide through both the groove and the tongue pieces. And I do that on both sides, the both ends and you can see the hole through both the pieces here. Then I take the tongue piece to my router table, I have a one quarter of an inch bit set up and I'm using the hole um, to start my routing and basically running it all the way across to the other end to the second hole that I have on the other side.
a little bit of uh, paste wax even in that a uh, gap now you can see how i'm using that routed gap to put in a t-slot bolt and a knob and how it slides and i can secure the knob at any location to keep it uh, tight i take it to my drill press and i put a drill in uh, two or three more holes in the middle then i take it to my miter saw and basically cut off the edges very slightly just to give a very flat um, side on the edges now finally i'm taking that third one and one quarter inch wide piece that i had cut i cut several small pieces and i choose one uh, that i can glue like this at the end they are going to be one and one quarter inch wide on the width left to right uh, but I had I just had to choose something that was uh, a good height that would sit flush on the top. I clamp it, leave it overnight. The next morning, the story stick is basically done. You can see how it slides. You can see the several holes. I can choose any of the holes, put a couple of uh, T slot T slot bolts and the knob. I can remove the bolt if necessary for the sliding mechanism to work. As an additional feature, I put in this bubble level, glue it in at the edge like this, so when I hold the story stick, uh, I know it's level. 